Hello, welcome back to Loving's Guitar. I like to talk about guitars and how they move me. And uh, today, uh, I have some sad news here, folks. Uh, I uh, gave myself a hammer finger, hammer toe sort of thing, but not my finger. So the, the, the pinky is kind of like, mm, like that. Uh. <coughs> It's probably going to be like that for a little bit, you know, maybe three weeks, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know that uh, it looks kind of weird, but uh, trust me, uh, we're going to have to be s stabilized for at least that much. I may do, well, we'll see how long I go. Um. They, you could probably get it done in about two weeks if, like, stabilized. But I, I go for one more, and then I'm going to rehabilitate it back, you know. I'm a little upset about this, you know, and you know. <laughs> I don't get to play my girls, my guitars, I should say. All right, folks, for those who don't know what Loving's guitar is. Um, yeah, so, look... <laughs> Yeah, and here's an, here's a, here's the funny thing. It's like the stuff that they give you at the, at the hospital and the doctors. You know, actually, this mine is better. <laughs> it stabilizes it way better. Um, like this part over here. You know, and I can see that I'm not moving it. Like I can't move it, even, right? I can't even if I wanted to. I can't move it. Whereas the other one, it was squeezing so hard, and yet I could still move it inside. So it wasn't you know, like, now, even if I wanted to, I can't. And it was, how simple is that? It's just two pieces, like basically popsicle sticks. <laughs> I don't know, I got four popsicle sticks. There's, there's two, there's two on, each, on each side, so I get four popsicle sticks. And there's some mini cell foam. And some bandage stuff, and uh, and uh, it stabilizes it way much better. You know, the, even using this type of foam, the mini cell. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm kind of bummed that uh, yeah, I'm gonna be out of commission for a little bit. But at least the finger is, you know. And I know. This is going to take a while to heal up. It doesn't heal up in a week. You know, it's like, don't even think that uh, you, you should play around with your finger. Like, when it's like that, when, when, when you've uh, given yourself a hammer finger or a hammer toe, don't think that uh, this is going to be on for a week. And don't even consider playing around with it. Like, uh, even toying with the idea of taking it off so much. Because you can, and it's not going to hurt. You can put it back in and out, but as, every time you take it out, in the very beginning, is you don't want it. You don't. You're, you're connect. You're trying to connect fibers again <laughs> to keep your finger back up, you know. So just leave it like that. Just leave it straight out right now. Right now, just leave it straight out. Do what you need to do, but just and don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't try to uh, pull it out because you can. Because you, you know, like unlike a broken arm, you're like. You could, if you want, you could pull the, the thing out, and then what would happen is, so you would pull it out, and maybe for like the first few seconds it would be like this, and then it would be like, mm, like that, and then like, okay, now you start all the way from the beginning again, <sighs> right? So basically, you you're gonna need, we need to first get this thing solid again, so that it can go up, you know, because yeah, so that's what we got going. on. I'm kind of bummed out. Anyway, I'm you gonna I'm gonna have to use mine because mine already is is just like last time. <laughs> mine was better, you know. So uh, I know it looks uh, prehistoric and kind of hideous. <laughs> special effects, hideous. <laughs> this is exactly what a special effects guy would do, though. <laughs> In his shop, you know, I ought to know. 
<laughs> so anyway, so that's uh, that, yeah, that's what I that's what I got going on here. I got a I got a a hammered finger, so that's what. And that's oh, that's all I got for today. I, I, I thought maybe I would make an episode out of that. So uh, that's it. Uh, that's the update. Uh, how far did we go? Uh, I mean, how many minutes have passed by? Are, uh, uh, are, are you move? Are you moving the remote to the next uh, chapter? No, there's. You know, I got a lot more other things that are way more interesting than a hammer. Oh yes, I can tell you how I got this. You want to know how I got this? I bet you do. <laughs> Oh, I thought, you know what, it'd be really cool if I had a really cool story, but the story is, it really is a cool story. No, it was, it was going to be a cool story until the story went uncool with the fact that I, you know, I didn't know I, it was it, it was going to, nobody planned for the uncoolness of like, walking out with a hammered pinky. Is that a pinky? It, wait, wait, it's a... Yeah, it's the pinky thing. And what do you call the pinky toe? It's the pinky toe. All right. So, because I keep on thinking this is like hammer toe, but this is not. This is like a, and it's a hammered pinky. <laughs> I got my pinky hammered. <laughs> no, I got. You know what? It's self-induced too, and it was completely self. Just like the last time. <laughs> the last time. Wait, there was no meat involved in the last time. I got a, I, I think, I, I think, which finger was it? I, I think it was this one. <laughs> you see, look, there's a result a little bit left from having, see that finger right there? Oh. So, <laughs> that one, this one here. That one ha is a result of a, uh, yeah, so I try, because uh, uh, of my fingers, uh, they, 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 they've they taken beatings, you know. And, uh, and, and maybe I'm not as resilient as I used to be, you know, so. It is what it is, folks. <laughs> I got a hammered pinky. So um, I'm going to just do the best with what I got uh, for the next... Uh, mm, I'm going to go for three weeks before I take it off. And then a week of therapy. So it's going to be four weeks before I probably can get back to wherever I was right now. A couple of... Yeah, a couple of hours ago. Uh, anyway, that's what, that's what I got. So, uh, I, well, I was, uh, in the middle of editing something. So I think I, I should be able to finish that soon. All right. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you this, 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 this episode called the hammered pinky. And if you want to know how I got this hammered pinky, we have a video for that. What? I'm going to show you how to get to that video. <laughs> if you just hold on for just a second, you know what? Don't, don't hold on for just a second. You can go, you can go straight to how I got the hammered pinky. It really isn't ex exciting because it doesn't end well. <laughs> so, uh, and there's no reason for a hammered pinky to have ever been involved except... But you know what? If you do get to that video and you... <laughs> Well, you'll, you'll see that uh, I was doing something that, no, you don't want to know. I, I, w I was slapping meat, and I, I got a hammered pinky. There was some meat involved. There was slapping. <laughs> There was a hammer pinky as a result. <laughs> hey, and that's what I got for today here at Loving's Guitar, you know, where usually we talk about guitars in this channel and how they move us, you know. Today, on you see, you know what? This is just proof. This is proof. This right here, this tells me a lot. You know what? If I just stay focused, you know, maybe more with, like, guitars instead of, like, slapping meat, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have this thing, this issue right now, this hammered pinky. What am I going to do with this now? 
All I could do is make one episode with just the hammer. Who, who, okay, there's nothing else that's like, the, the, the news is over. Once the hammered pinky is seen, you know, it's like, okay, the gag, okay, the gag, moving on. No, no, I gotta take this with me for the next. <sighs> I'm gonna go for three weeks. I, did I, I keep saying that. All right. What else can we show? You know, can, is it, you know I feel, I feel, I feel bad that you guys are visiting this channel and I got nothing to show you or sell or display. Here's my old, uh, my strap. This one's 35 years old. Okay. Oh, no, no, you know what? I cleaned this. <laughs> I, oh, yes, I did learn how to clean this. <clears throat> For those people who, <clears throat> who discover, you know, like from an old... Uh, guitar case or something or some duffel bag that they from from an old tour you know and they take out and it's like <laughs> what the hell first of all remnants of time you know like you know things from back then all right but then there's the things that grow on those things and this thing was covered in that kind of stuff mold and stuff it was it was different colors that had fuzz on it. It was just, it was, a, I swear to God, it was alive. It was alive. This, there were things, there was a whole mega universe living on this thing, you know, so. But I wanted to keep it. <laughs> and, and you know what? I'm glad I did. But first, I needed to clean it. So the first thing I did was uh, I, I, I made a vinegar bath, you know, a little vinegar container in, a, in this polyethylene container. Vinegar. Let, let it sit there. I let it sit there for like a week. Killed everything. <laughs> then I washed off the vinegar, scrubbed it, and washed it. Then I... Uh, um, but I just rinsed it. Then I... I don't recall. But then I did uh, use... It may have been some hair product, <laughs> like a little bit of a hair product or something like that. Anyway, that's what I got. I got, I got, a, I got a cleaned um, old strap that I use, and it still works. And this is great for when I this when I choose to play like some of my heavier guitars. Like I have two TE fifty twos. One is a heavyweight. Well, there it is. One is a heavyweight, and the other is a lightweight. But I have two, and here's one of my heavyweights. This is my heaviest electric guitar I have. This is a T Harley Benton TE fifty two, and I love this guitar. I also have another TE fifty two which is one of my lightest guitars. Can you believe that? And it's also a Harley Benton. So I have two Harley Bentons. One that, by all accounts, is just like all the other guitars that people talk about regarding the Harley Benton TE-52, that it's heavy. Right? Other than that, on um, basically most accounts, you're going to hear people talking about their incredible players and they feel really good. Listen to what they're saying. This truly is, it feels so good. Yes, it weighs a ton. Like, I'm actually, this is, I'm flexing my muscle. My, my, what little chicken muscle I have right now. I'm flexing it right now, just picking this thing up, see? <clears throat> um, God, I wish I could, you know what? I bet you I could put a slide here. I bet you. Oh my God. I bet I could. Is it worth taking it out though? It goes in pretty, look how nice and tight. I wouldn't be able to move. Yes, I would be able to move a little bit my finger. You see that? So if I put it in the tube, it stabilizes it pretty good. If I put keep it like against here, if I do this, yeah, just I won't. All right, that's pretty healthy, like that. So I, if I here's what the healthy one looks like. 
If I do this, this is push back. See? It's still straight. Oh my god, we we might be able to do slide guitar for the rest for the next remainder of the until this gets healed up. I should have had all my cameras up, truly. But I wanna do it. I wanna do it. I wanna get this thing ready. I'm trying to think the plan, how I'm going to do this. I can push from here. Make sure that my finger stays straight. I don't ever want this thing to flex. But the idea of actually having a slide is kind of worth this trip right now. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. I wish I could do like that and then I'm pushed through. <laughs> Imagine that, that's oh, too much. Uh. It's just a few hours that this happened. I don't, I really, you know what? It's better to not fuck with this yet. I'm not gonna fuck with this yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use my common sense. As much as I love that and I see how it can happen, and I think it can, and I think I want to do it, actually doing it right now wouldn't, I, no. I'm gonna give myself another three days before, or four days before I, no, let's give myself enough for at least three or four days. Give it enough, give it enough, because I don't want this thing in any way to start going like this, start turning. Even for like the, even for a second. I don't want that to happen. So you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, I'm sorry I had, I had to put you guys through that drama. I didn't know that I was gonna, that was gonna happen. I'm trying to live with this. Oh, look! So here we get. This is what we. This this strap would be great for this kind of guitar. Oh yeah, this is no problem. Although uh, on the shoulder feels good. Still, and you know, picking this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> people played heavy guitars back in the day. Many people did. That was, ex it was part of being a musician picking out, lugging heavy guitars. There was nothing about lightweight guitars, really. <clears throat> Especially during the 70s. Look at all the Fender sh stuff, right? All that, uh, e even what's, e even Squire doing vibes, you know, like their, their vibe series, you know? Well, it's seventies stuff, right? And it's the it's the seventies heaviest, glossiest, most freaking condom covered era. I call it condom covered because they get so much gloss. It's like a freaking condom on the freaking instrument, and you can't feel it anymore. That's how sensitive I am to extra gloss. I'm so sensitive to extra. I can have gloss. I can have paint on, on guitars. But if it gets to like just the slightest, when it passes that, no, I can't. No, it just doesn't, I, I, I don't I, I don't gravitate to those. I can't, even when I try to, I can't get an, I, I don't have a connection. There's like this barrier on them, like a prophylactic over the entire instrument that I can't get through. Oh, and sure, they may look really pretty, you know, underneath the gloss, yeah, to protect the prettiness of, of whatever, how pretty they are. But that extra bit of gloss it just takes, takes everything that's underneath the gloss to unseen. 
because the gloss is what's seen first. And it just completely destroys everything for me about every guitar. Now, they, there's only a few guitars in the entire, my entire realm of many guitars that I have that uh, I, I put up with their glossiness. And uh, because, yeah, otherwise I would just take all the gloss off, like this girl. She's, <clears throat> she's one of my uh, older uh, Harley Benton TE-52s. And as you can see, she still has all her gloss. She is, all, though not my, f I was going to say not my favorite. But here, I was going to say, she's in my, I'm going to say probably my, she might still be in my top five. Can you believe it? Because she's not, because I have another Harley Benton TE-52 just like her, but she's three pounds lighter. Now that's my, I have another one. It comes in at 6.6 .6 ounces. Six pounds, six ounces. That's less, that's less than six and a half pounds, folks, right? But that's not this one. This one's the standard one that everyone else gets. So I, I had one freak, and that was a B stock. The other one, the one that's like, it's in my top three. Right, so this one, despite being it heavy, is in my, still my top five. And how many Harley Bentons do I have now? I don't know, like 27, 28, I don't know. I don't know, it's a lot. And yeah, I'm a bit of a hoarder. Okay, moving on. So, but what I wanted to say is that, uh, oh yeah, the, the gloss. Look at that. This is heavy as hell. Kind of reminds me of what this guitar is all about. And what it's all about because this neck is no joke. This neck has been played. I don't know if you can see if this is showing off any real depth in there about uh, that this neck has been played. I don't know. Do you see like some of the uh, how, how this this neck has been worn? Does that look make any sense to you? Well, because this neck truly has been worn. This, this guitar has truly been played a lot. Holy crap. And as I hold it in my hand, she weighs a ton, right? But I, I hold her in my hand and just like everything I know that this guitar can do, it just reminds me like, wow, I'm like, I feel so confident next to this thing. Just like, okay. All right, we can do it. We, this, this, this one, this one makes me feel like I can do anything. She may not like, she may not sound like she can do everything, but she'll make you feel like you can. And that's what she is. She's just, just elegant, like, just this. It's kind of like bringing grandma to, uh, if you had, if you had a good grandma, okay, let's just say you had a really cool grandma in your life. And all your friends had a grandma party where they bring their grandma to the, to the party. You'd be like, okay, this is grandma, right? So you bring her and you're like, say, this is my grandma. Like, yeah. Like you say, you say, hey, grandma, this is my friend Joey. <laughs> yeah. And, grandma, you know, it's, and your grandma's right there. You know, it's just, this is kind of like, this is kind of like that guitar. That's how it feels to me. Like in my herd of guitars that I have, you know, I sure I have a lot of guitars, but I have to say, you know, I have my top 10, you know, and then I have my top five, and then I have my top three. And then I have guitars that 
are out, even outside that category where I've had the longest, and that may not be my top guitars, but I've had the longest. I have, I have, <laughs> then of course, I have an acoustic guitar that has been played more than all my guitars put together. <laughs> yeah, where's my deal jumbo? Is it here? No, no, it's in the other room. Yeah, because it, it gets played all the time. When I say the other room, it's just not, well, the guitars in the, in my other room are, they're in the top ten. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> most played. Or uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, I have another. Well, anyway, long story short. Um, ow. It's not, there's, no, it's no, no pain. Let's make sure it just, it's not moving. I want to make sure it's totally immobile, but. Ah, oh, I'm kind of stuck with this for a little bit. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of shenanigans, <laughs> yeah, feel free to subscribe. That you know, actually, that be I'd be honored if you did that. <laughs> and as we get better and progress, uh, hopefully, uh, we we'll talk about like how well the finger moves, you know, over time. But it's gonna take some time going to take some time. Thanks for watching. Did I say that again? Of course I did. I say I say these things often. But, um, all right. Hey, listen. Respect the meat. So next time there's a big chunk of meat that needs some slapping, you know, before you go ahead slapping salt on it, you know. Oh. <laughs> so, the, so the next time an opportunity arises where a big chunk of meat it's just there for you to season away. Just respect the meat. Skip the slap and just drizzle some seasoning on it. It says rub it in. Just rub it in. That's it. You know, it didn't say slap it in. It said rub it in. I should have read the instructions. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time I get all choked up. And for the guitars that move me. All right. See ya. Ciao, ciao. Okay. okay. Action. <laughs> action. All right. Okay. Today on the chopping block, we're going to go straight to seasoning. But first, every piece of meat should at least get slapped once. It already, well, it already did get slapped. Actually, in this poor animal, it just got chopped. <laughs> but this time, we're not going to forget to slap. <laughs> ah! It. Oh, a little seasoning. Throw it. Look, give it, give it a little massage if you need to. Ew, what the hell is this? What's the sticky stuff? Ew, look at this disgusting fat. Ew, slap that fat around. Some people like fat. I like fat, you know. What's this going to do? I will see what this does. Here, let's, let's put some more salt. Yeah, salt fixes everything. Look, we're going to put a little salt in here. Salt over there. Ew, what the... Ew. You know, it doesn't really look that good. If you think about it, it looks kind of disgusting. But we're just putting salt in it. Because, you know, they say salt fixes everything, you know. And I believe in that. Look, look. There's all this salt. But you know what? This is a lot of meat. For heaven's sakes.